Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for um, the week of April 17th. Uh, we are just going to jump right in here. Uh, you start off with this strategy card. It says, becoming more strategic to succeed in the long term. And you also have this card that it also says, uh, look at your current goals and imagine what obstacles may appear. So I, uh, well, you know, I would... To me, <laughs> to me, it's very obvious that, you know, basically everyone gets these, um, you know, strategy cards. I always talk about like the Seven of Swords, for example, is a card of tactics or strategy. And the Seven of Swords comes up a lot. So we're, we're talking about outside of love. People always correct me and they're like, it's lying, cheating, stealing. I'm always like, okay, like settle down. Number one, if you want to be lied to and cheated on, then go for it. You know, go date your past bozo. That's fine. Uh, but we're talking about something else here, something totally different. So what I would say is that, and you don't even have the Seven of Swords here yet. So uh, what I feel though is collective, it's like a collective energy. It's a big energy that we're all dealing with, um, like needing to not necessarily kind of go for things head on and, you know, maybe needing to look for other ways of doing things. You know, I think money is a great example. It's like, you know, there's crazy stuff going on with the money supply and money and everything. And that's not, that's only going to get worse people. It's not going to get any better. And uh, I don't say this to scare anyone. As I always say, I say this because again, for the people who are able to handle it, who are able able to, you know, come up with strategies to, you know, start their business without money, to be in a relationship without money, or to do whatever they need to do. Those people will have money by default, and then will be very successful. So, you know, that's what I would be focusing on here. I think also a good strategy for you would be Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about planting seeds. It's about like trying a few different things, like in a small way and seeing what works and then doubling down on what works. I know it's super boring, but literally, I mean, my channel was stuck at like 34, between like 34 and 40,000, I think a few years ago. I don't really remember, but I was stuck. I just know that. And, um, you know, this is what I did right here. Six of Pentacles. I just tried something new in every single video that I did, every single reading, and you can literally see it. Go back like, you know, three and a half years-ish, um, basically, and you will see the explosion on my channel happening because um, that's all I did is I just tried one new thing every single day and for every single video. And then I paid attention also. The other important part is paying attention to what works, right? And I paid attention to what works and I just doubled down on the things that worked. And, uh, you know, it goes right here. Six of swords to the justice card, you know? Cause and effect, cause and effect. Two sixes is my favorite combination in the tarot. To me, it basically is confirmation for your path. It kind of says that you're going in the right direction. You're doing the things you need to do uh, to be very successful at this time. And so I love that. But the other thing that I like to tell people is like, there's a theory that, you know, again, people keep saying like, why do you keep saying this about, you go know, experimenting and everything? I'm like, well, Pluto and Aquarius, super important that we do this. But number two, there's like a theory that if you don't pay for something, um, that you're not going to do it, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, what I would say here is that, again, you're not paying for this information, right? Other than with your time, which I'm grateful for. But what I would say is do this. Don't like think that cause and effect isn't going to be very beneficial for you. So again, I, like I think that some of you, um, you know, experimentation would be very helpful is what I'm trying to say. You have the tower, uh, the towers come up a lot this week. Again, we will see a lot of global tower moments. I talk about this all the time. Uh, you know, some of you could be having a tower moment as well because we have the two of swords here. Um, you know, again, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but what I would say is that I feel like you're going to this new island. I What I would also say is I do feel like it's maybe a little bit hard for Aquarius to let go of comfort zones right now. Um, you know, it makes perfect sense to me. Pluto, you know, leaving Capricorn, going into your sign, Aquarius. And, you know, it makes sense to me that it might be a little bit hard to let go of some things that maybe have been establishments in your life, like things that have been around for a long time. We're talking about people, places, and things. But I really feel like you're... Um, again, what you need to see, or, you know, again, I'm not telling you what to do is, is this right here is like, you're, you're entering into a time of much more balance. You're entering into a time of, you know, much more success. And this card literally says, when you let go, <laughs> I didn't even notice that it says, let go of what's uh, holding you back again, the tower. This is why I personally don't think the tower is a bad thing because the tower happens for a reason. We will always have tower moments in life. And to me, tarot isn't good or bad. It's loose guidance at best. Um, and the other thing that I would say about the tower is that those people are ignoring reality. You know, they have ignored reality and that's why the tower is happening. So we all do this. It's not a criticism or anything like that, but there might've been some sort of ignoring, uh, ignoring, you know, you ignored some sort of reality. Maybe you held on to something, but in the future, it looks like now you see things clearly with that queen of swords. 
with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. It's funny that I said the thing about not having money. Again, I'm telling you right now, I mean, to me, this is true for everyone. If we want to do something, we might feel like we don't have the money to do it. It's kind of tricky, actually, because we might have the money to do the things that we want to do, but we might not think we do. The other trick here is that we shouldn't necessarily, even if you have a billion dollars in the bank account, as I've said to other people, you know, it's like you shouldn't necessarily use money to do something you want. The universe, again, I think what I try to get people to see is that when we work with the astrology and we work with the energy, then we get rewarded. And I think that the universe really wants us to be resourceful and wants us to look for other ways of doing things. If we do that, then we'll be rewarded. And that's kind of what I feel like this is saying. For some of you, I do feel like you have you feel left out in the cold in a situation. You could have been in a breadcrumbing situation with a person. It's not like a major love reading. I would say there's kind of love here at the end potentially, but there could have been like some sort of breadcrumbing type situation. And that could have led to a tower moment. With the tower, you have the queen of swords. So I'll just show you here because we go to the queen of swords and she has her back to the past. And it looks to me like a lot of you are just more focused on the future. Um, you know, especially, I feel like this week, it, you know, you're going through a transition with the six of swords. Sometimes I think the six of swords isn't always necessarily comfortable because it's a rite of passage. You know, they're still they're still sitting in the choppy waters and they're leaving everything behind them behind, that mother and the child, but they're being guided away from something. So I kind of feel like you are being guided away from something here. With the two of swords, you have the, are you kidding? The tower. I literally said something in, at the beginning about the tower and the two of swords being connected. I really felt that. And you know, there you go. Basically the universe saying, I meant what I said. Uh, next, you have this divine timing. <laughs> this card says, no blocks exist. Just the timeline of your success is not only up to you. Uh, so again, I feel like success is coming, but maybe you feel like it's not coming as quickly as you want. I really feel like, I've, I'm pretty sure I said this to you in your last reading, the middle, um, the mid-monthly reading for April. I get this feeling for you, Aquarius, and only you, uh, that it's almost like you're building up a, you know, like a debt with the universe. I don't know if that's the right word to use. Maybe it's like you have like this bank account on the other side that's, uh, that it's like the more you put into it, it's like you're getting more and more interest. You know, it's like there's this compounding energy that I get from your reading. So just know that if you're working on whatever you're working on, doesn't matter, and you're not seeing results, I feel like the result, it's like they're building up. Those results are building up with the universe. And I think all of a sudden, literally, at some point in the very near future, you're gonna all of a sudden get the rewards. And I think it's gonna hit you like a ton of bricks in a good way like in a really good way. But I also feel this is kind of like saying, keep pushing, like don't stop putting in the work. It says, uh, let go and trust. The whole entire reading is about letting go of something, literally. Uh, it says, though things may be slow or frustrating or not make sense, divine timing assures you that the universe is placing people, things, lessons, and more into your life only when you are ready. I feel like you are ready. That's what this is saying. It's like you have this maybe like last little bit to go with the six of swords, but you're getting there. You have the six of swords, four of cups, and the king of swords. Like I said, I feel like you're still kind of like going through it. Six of Swords is meant to represent a rite of passage. So it's meant to represent kind of like going through something to get to the other side, which I feel like you are. Um, you have the Four of Cups here. It's like, you know, again, he's not seeing the results that he wants, right? He's trying to manifest something into his life, but he is, he has his arms folded because he's not really getting exactly what he wants. And you know, that let go, that divine timing card is basically saying that. But he, you know, I always say he does have those cups in front of him. And I also think that he needs to mix those cups together sometimes. Like he might be trying to manifest a cake, for example, and he's got the flour, the sugar, the eggs, but he just has to mix it all together and put it in, into the oven. And that's like the vibe I get from your reading, at least the first half of your reading. Uh, you have the King of Swords here, which I actually think is you. I kind of feel like this is the universe saying you're in a much better position than you realize, right? And so I think you need to kind of, maybe some of you need to change your mindset a little bit and realize that you're in a much better position than you realize. With the Six of Swords, you have the Hierophant. Yeah, I feel like you've been through a lot of learning lessons, no doubt about it. I mean, the whole entire reading, you know, basically says the universe has been, you know, guiding you, teaching you. Even this guy here in the back of the boat, he represents a guide. And we have the Hierophant, which is like learning or, you know, really the Hierophant represents initiation. And so you could, it's like you're being initiated into a higher dimension or whatever you want to call it. With the Four of Cups, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, 
Something needs to be nurtured into existence. Again, Ace of Pentacles is literally a card of like having a garden. Really good big opportunity, but an opportunity is nothing without you putting the work in. So I feel like there's some sort of opportunity that you need to put the work into. Going, You go to the Eight of Swords, which kind of tells me maybe you don't see how... Um, Maybe you don't see how it's going to be possible to make this uh, opportunity a reality, but I really feel it's kind of like saying, don't worry about like how, just start. Uh, with the King of Swords, you have the Fool, literally what I just said, just start. <laughs> so take the leap of faith here. It's like sometimes I think we get too caught up in that Aquarius. We get too caught up in the how, right? But really, the, I think that when we just start with the, you know, when we just get started, um, then you know ev the universe kind of moves out of the way. Uh, you Next, you have this card that says, when you let go, what's waiting for you will come. Clinging, control, resistance, let go of what's holding you back. Mm. I, like, I, I kind of feel like you have let go, or at least you are letting go. You know, Let's say there is something that has ha had a hold over you. It could be like a breakup for some of you or separation or a person. For others, I feel like it could just be circumstances, like certain circumstances in your life that you feel have been holding you back. And I kind of feel like you are starting to be resourceful. I feel like you are starting to say like, it's like you're starting to say, hey, um, <laughs> you know, what, what direction do I need to move in or how can I get started, right? And I feel like this is gonna make you very powerful. You have the Justice card, the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. The Justice card, again, is a card of cause and effect. I, I feel like things are balancing out. Again, it's kind of like the karmic debt. You know, it's like, again, that's not really the word that I'm getting or anything, but I really feel you have like this bank account uh, with the universe and the universe is about to, you know, kind of disperse some things to you, some karma or some good energy, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, I really feel this is like the universe kind of like evening up with you, you know, becoming even with you as well. Um, I don't know, that's really what I'm getting there. You have the Four of Pentacles, but again, I do feel like you're gonna have to let go of some old things. I think that part of Pluto and Aquarius for everyone, but especially you, because it's in your sign, is about letting go of your old story. I think we all have certain stories that we tell ourselves um, that make us, that kind of like become who we are. And it's my belief that we can change that story and change who we are. And I kind of feel like that's what the Four of Pentacles is saying. It's like saying, you know, there are things that you hold on to that you don't need, it doesn't need to be part of your story. Or maybe there are some things that you hold on to that you do want to be part of your story. Again, it's like, it's not like a good or a bad thing. It's like, just uh, what type of person do you want to be type of thing? <laughs> I don't know, I hope that makes sense. And I, again, I feel like you could be letting go of things and I feel like at this time, it could be like a little bit of a heavy time, not in a bad way. I just think you could be looking at things like certain aspects of yourself that have held you back or um, certain things that have like prevented you from moving forward. I always tell people like, be kind to yourself if you're doing that, like don't beat yourself up. We can't really change the past, but uh, what you can't change, those things that maybe you are tempted to beat yourself up over, it's like change now. It's like you don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be your story forever. And I kind of feel like that's what this um, is saying. I think it's a major, aspect of Pluto and Aquarius is that your story doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be the old story. Yeah, here you go. With the Justice card, you have the two wands. Like, take the lead. He His story has been the same for too long. That's literally what the two wands represents. He rushed to a finish line. He's normally standing at the top of a castle on the two wands, and he's like looking out into the world, and he's like, you know, there's nothing more for me to do. But he's got the whole world in his hands. He can literally change his story, and he can change the outcome. And, you know, d basically very easily. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Swords. You know, it could be some sort of victory coming in for you here. So I do feel like there's a victory. Uh, I also feel that, you know, it's a time of truth. So it's kind of like one of those things where, um, you know, it's not about like telling the truth. It's about living your truth. And if you're doing things that are not part of your truth, I feel like it's just going to feel wrong. It's just not going to feel right. And maybe you aren't even going to feel right. When you do things that are part of your truth, then you're going to feel good and things are going to go your way. I know that sounds obvious, but, um, you know, people always tell me how obvious that message is. And, but, and at the same time, they'll, the next sentence will say how they're with a person, um, that they're struggling with. I'm like, okay, well, that's not the truth then. You're not living your truth. We shouldn't have to struggle it to be in a relationship. It doesn't have to be a struggle. I don't know who came up with this. Right. And, um, relationships can be very easy, just an example, or maybe you go to a job every single day that you hate. And so that is not living the truth, right? And um, so anything you could do, again, um, to start living the truth is going to lead to more success. And we're gonna see a lot of the truth during Pluto and Aquarius, but not just Pluto and Aquarius, um, there's a lot more going on. <laughs>
<laughs> that is going to be exposing the truth. And we're going to see some weird shit. Like, trust me, you see the uh, Dalai Lama basically making out with some little kid. You, like, again, the other, like, what the hell is going on? You know, it's what I'd say. I literally said at the beginning of the year, you are going to see stuff that you've never seen before. And this is only the beginning. So if you think that's weird, uh, buckle up. With the uh, Eight of Swords, you have the Six of Swords. So um, moving on to Commerce Shores, success, uh, good things coming in for you. Uh, definitely a rite of passage. Again, I think this is like a good challenge. You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like a lot of you, it, I'm not gonna sugarcoat the reading, right? <laughs> I feel like a lot of you feel challenged right now, Aquarius. It's like, you feel it, you feel a challenge. But the Six of Swords is a rite of passage. It's like, once you get to the other side, there's going to be a lot of like positivity and like good things there for you. Uh, you have this travel card and this is showing up in the good stuff. Whatever shows up here, it's gonna be good no matter what. Uh, it says you're attracting positive momentum or travel that will bring desires to fruition. Uh, I feel some of you could be traveling, of course, but I also just feel this is talking about the movement, um, you know, like moving to a new part of your life or, uh, you know, starting something new, which obviously would involve movement. Um, again, if you're not living the truth in some area of your life, you could be making a move. Like maybe you have a job that you hate. And again, I keep telling people, it's like, this is not like one of those things where you just have to quit that job if you're not living the truth. Part of living your truth would be if you hate your job and that is your truth and you realize that, then just start looking for something else. Again, I don't think we should be taking anything to the extreme right now. I'm actually worried about extremism, especially when we get into 2026 because uh, of Neptune and Aries. Neptune and Aries is like extreme. <laughs> so again, I keep telling people like, don't be all this way or all that way on any decision you make. It's like, it's okay to kind of test the waters and, you know, kind of see how things go. I think that a better solution is to six of pentacles, experiment with things because it's kind of like a weird time. There's a book, uh, Thinking Fast and Slow, right? And it, I'm, I'm like, if there was ever a time where we need to move quickly, but slowly at the same time, it would be right now. And I know that sounds confusing, but again, I think the solution is six of pentacles. You can test things quickly. You can try a different direction in your life. Try to get another job. Try to look for a better job or a better position. Uh, get out of a relationship, heal yourself first, and then try dating again, right? By planting seeds. So I think that's the slow part, right? Is like kind of trying, <laughs> experimenting, and really paying attention as well. Not just dating any old bozo, but really paying attention to what you're getting into and things like that, I think is gonna be super beneficial. But I also think that um, then when something works, doubling down on it, right? That's the quick part. That's the moving quickly and not wasting time type of situation. Trusting the evidence. I always say that to you because you always get the justice card here, Aquarius. So I hope that makes sense. People are always confused by me saying you need to move slow and fast at the same time, but it's really not that confusing actually, if you think about it. Uh, you have this uh, Knight of Cups here. Definitely could be a Knight in Shining Armor coming in for you. Doesn't seem to be like a love week, which is interesting. Pretty much every single person I've read for, it's like love has shown up. Love is showing up here. Doesn't seem to be a major focus of the readings this week. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I always say like, if you want love, love is always available. You know, you just have to get out and get it. But I do feel this could be a person uh, definitely coming in the future. The last row, you know, the last row, even though this is the good stuff, I always go, you know, people always ask me, what what is your spread? And I'm like, basically it's a loose spread, really. It's a uh, past to the future. And so, you know, you could look at the last row as the future in your reading. So there could be a person coming in. You have the Queen of Swords. I think you th see things very clearly. You understand the changes in the transformations that you want to make. I also feel you're, I just feel like you're in a better place with this Four of Swords. It's kind of interesting. The words that I'm getting here are just a better, <laughs> you know, being in a better place. It's like, he's hoping and praying for blessings. There's a person up here being blessed by another person. And so I kind of feel like you're um, it's like you're in a better place because maybe you can see the blessings that are coming in for you or the potential blessings uh, that could be coming in for you here. Let's see uh, what is going on for you. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Hangman. Uh, you know, I feel for a lot of you, you um, you know, are kind of going through this metamorphosis. You can see that there's this caterpillar here on this card. And you could be going through a change. You, maybe you've been waiting for enlightenment. Uh, I kind of feel like you've just been waiting for clarity is really what it boils down to. Um, you know, you've been waiting to become clear about like what your truth is or what you want your life to look like. And I feel like you're finally kind of getting some answers. With the Queen of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. I mean, everyone's had this card. Page of Wands says we have to follow our desires, our passions, and like all this other stuff. And if we do that, we will be very successful. 
Uh, and with the four swords, sorry, I don't know why I switched, but you have the magician. Uh, definitely a very, very powerful new beginning coming in for you. See, this is the direction you should be focusing on, I think, is going from six of swords, hierophant, four of pentacles, ace of swords, four of swords, and the magician. This is like a very powerful new beginning that you've created by just only listening to your truth, whatever that is, and not allowing like other people, other situations, you know, pretty much anything to get in the way. But again, I really feel like so, like something, you know, again, I, I said that something's gonna hit like a ton of bricks. And if, it's like, if you do the work, I feel like you're gonna be, the universe is gonna owe you big time, really is what I get. Uh, well, I'm gonna pull five main themes. You have this escape card. Some of you could be trying to escape a situation in your life or um, something along those lines. I feel like you're taking action on it though, whatever it is. So some of you could be leaving something negative behind. Uh, next, you have this optimism. Yes, see, I feel like there, I do get such an optimistic feeling from the reading, even though there are these challenges. Again, but as I always say, life isn't perfect and you know we will always be going through something. I don't care what anyone says, like nobody lives a perfect life, right? <laughs> nobody. And it, uh, you know, I really truly have learned and I truly believe that I think that it's what we make of it, of course, right? And so, you know, I think that being optimistic is always beneficial. And I feel like there's a lot to be optimistic for. You have this patience card. You've been very patient. I feel like, I really feel like this is you saying I've been patient. <laughs> is That's really what I get here. It's not like saying you need to be patient. I feel like you are saying I have been patient and I have been waiting for, you know, the abundance to come in, the person to come in, whatever it is you're waiting for. Uh, next, do you have this resourcefulness? Yes, everybody gets this card. Like it's crazy and Again, as I said right here, I wouldn't be thinking money at this time. I would be thinking, you know, how even if you have the money, how, how can I do this without money? How can I start this biz business with other people's money? How can I start this, um, you know, project with other people's money? Or how can I get people to work with on this project where it doesn't even require money in the first place, right? It's like, I think if we do that, again, I think this, I really say I think, cause I don't know <laughs> if I'm being honest. I don't know. It's just kind of like a back of my mind type of feeling. I, w I don't, I'm not even so sure that it's intuitive, um, but I just get this feeling that the universe is like, are they, you know, are they gonna be smart and start this in another way to, in, I think, I'm, I'm wondering if the reason this is happening is because it's almost like the universe is trying to prepare us for, you know, like a financial collapse or something. So that it's like, if you do this, if you start a business without money, when that happens, or if it happens, right? It's like, you're not gonna be worried about it. Cause you're gonna be like, oh, I started this other thing without money, you know, or something like that. So, you know, again, not trying to scare anyone here. I don't think we should be scared. I think things are gonna be fine, but you know, I think we should be aware. And you have this negotiation card, I feel like there's abundance coming in for you, but I really feel like this is saying, stop negotiating with yourself. It's like, if you're having to justify things at this time, you know, I really get this whole entire reading. It's like, I, I see how there could be some things that maybe you have to justify in your life or that you feel like you've been justifying. You know, it could be a relationship and you could be justifying it for certain re reasons could be a business or whatever. And I feel like this is saying you don't have to justify the things that are really meant to be in your life. They should, you just feel like they should be in your life, whatever it is, right? And I kind of feel like that should be your mantra here, Aquarius, but uh, damn, this is a very powerful change. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.